So artificial intelligence. So I guess there's there's good AI and there's bad AI, right? Like, um, would you or was that not a right true statement? What would you say about that? I'd say definitely there's AI used for good and AI used for bad. So I've seen Galactics use AIs for monitoring people and stuff like that, but it's more like light. It's not machinery. Like we've seen in the collective consciousness, what I would consider um, bad AI or like machine-like um, etheric um, objects that are, are manipulating um, could be doing things. We don't want to freak people out, of course, but um, I would consider that non-serving artificial intelligence, right? So we were going to go into consciousness and we we're going to do a couple of things. Um, your idea, Phil, I think that was a great idea. Do you want to elaborate what your plan was for that part of it? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> what it is, in the last last couple of years, people have been getting implants. Some of the implants have been through things they've been having. I can't say it here. Or they've been just being targeted, mainly because of their power. So these implants either track them or they uh, they take their soul energy. And he, most of the, a lot of these implants are from... Uh, the Orion uh, region, uh, one of the planets on there. And that, my plan is to send a frequency that resonates with these implants to dissolve them by going through the, uh, the light grid of consciousness and sending everybody these, this frequency that will hopefully dissolve them. And somehow, if we can find a way of actually keeping this frequency going so we can't put them back in in a week or two. But it, it, will, send, it will give them a problem. It will give them a big problem. It will be like 1999 and all the lights go out. <laughs> but it didn't go out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a great idea. So basically, an understanding that everything is consciousness, including the grids, what we would be doing is we'd be merging with like the solar grids, which is a really high vibrational field putting a frequency through for dissolving any kind of implants that anybody has um which will be an energetic freedom for a lot of people right i think that's a great idea i, I, I do think what you said i think uh, the frequency should be connected to the crystal source dimension yeah dimension, yeah. yeah we should, mm -hmm. that's what i was getting to um and we might go in and we might just um also um remove some of power down power down the non-serving kind so whatever let's call them um polarity forces have put into place for manipulation using their technology we would want to render that um null basically i mean we don't want to go in and take out serving ai that is actually helping people you know that is from from whatever but we, we definitely want to remove anything that is been put in place that's not from you know beings who have the, the humanity's vested interests at heart right so um you know a lot of people get caught up in artificial intelligence um so let's just see let's do that first so let's um we'll um connect our pillars of light we'll go into crystalline source self merge with our crystalline source selves likely go into the crystalline dimension um, we'll get information as we go. Um, so let's just go ahead and I was watching. Let's take a minute to connect, connect at higher self level. Light. Universal self. Oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. Um, okay. If you're watching it, just do some breathing exercise if you want to join us. Big breaths in. Okay, we're also going to create sacred space, columns of light all around us, all the way up to source. Make sure our channel is completely clear pure and shielded all right i'm just tapping into my universal self to get some information as well the uh the, the other one the implant one we need to go to the crystalline dimension collect the frequency in our crystalline beings that we merge to and join the consciousness actually merge in. Oh, that's the information i was just going to give mm -hmm. okay all right so we're just going to tune into the crystal dimension we'll go right into uh, crystalline core of self as well maybe just breathe in the golden light into your heart just with intention place your awareness into the crystalline source within self just go into the crystalline core of self 
merge those frequencies in united fields. So we'll combine fields now, unity fields. So bring the frequency and the intensity up. All right, it's a solar Rishi here. Two crystalline dragon energy. Okay. All right, so we'll call on the crystalline dragons to be with us as well. Rainbow dragon. Mm -hmm. I haven't got a name for him yet. I actually see us being joined by a fleet of dragons covered in crystal. So it's like instead of feathers or fur, they have crystals. It's pretty cool. That's semi-physical and semi-crystal. Like we, we need to connect to the consciousness of the planet to show them what we need doing. We need to show them these implants or feel these implants and they'll give us the energy to dissolve them. It's getting very warm. Yeah. Yeah. crystalline grids so actually i'm gonna hang out at this in this crystalline planet here for this part here i feel like we can uh just in pure crystalline source light basically makes it easier now we're just going to connect so there's like um the crystalline dragons surrounding the planet right surrounding the grids and um we'll tap into their hearts through here and then where they are at in the grids here we're going to get them to attune higher dimensions get them to tune to the solar grids here okay so we got the energetic ports that go from the solar grids down to uh, gaia solar light solar light is needed for this went into the sun i i've actually connected to the gatekeepers didn't you? gatekeepers i never knew that <coughs> of the grids, right. grid yeah we'll, we'll need everybody's involvement so we'll call on um the grid the, the grid gatekeepers will call also on the gatekeepers of the realms um the elohim the archangels the um mother father god we got to get all to bless this to bless this and through connected hearts the dragon collective as well and solar rishi uh, the solar rishi are here I, I, they just came um connected fields global consciousness the fields light from the consciousness of the collective on the grids how they look on the grids um so there's different layers of the grids different frequencies where everybody is at pull them up higher it will cleanse them pull the frequencies up higher pull everyone up higher okay um so just with intention we're just going to bring the frequencies up um of the there's a displacement of frequency on the grid so we're just going to move them all up we're going to bring higher frequencies down and pull them up to this level of galactic consciousness or the galactic grids if you want to call it that bring up frequencies across the planet collectively globally okay <clears throat> higher 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 now we'll bring the solar grids down merge the fields the collective consciousness we are okay we are under attack you know? I don't know if you know so. well that's why we put sacred space up so okay so now let's bring in like this we would like to assist light beings are coming in here from the sun from the central sun i'm connecting here connecting fields white light beings unity rays through here to the dragon collective into the solar grids so central sun like basically rainbow rays coming down into the dragons into the solar grids so set the intention here to make this light continuous to dissolve any implants to dissolve any attachments or implants with every person so light streams to every person the collective consciousness is now higher in vibration dissolving all implants dissolving all chips anything globally this light streams coming down dissolving it all, all day, day, day. <clears throat> dissolving it but also sending light to, into it yeah as, as it dissolves right so if there's any frequencies that are attached to it the light will go to those frequencies as well give it another <clears throat> okay turn in higher higher cells of the light beans higher cells of the light beans while, while we're in the consciousness also send a frequency out to stop because some people are, are locked in control in the brain the brain's got control so we can dissolve that as well the implants have made contr control programming in the brain the future timelines okay so they're bringing it into timelines now so they're bringing in timelines future and parallels here so we're just going to go ahead 
and connect the frequency to the timelines as well to dissolve it throughout all timelines or all realities and in the future as well so will assist in the future knowledge the gatekeepers acknowledge they accept eternal flame um okay well, it's forgiven release we're sending some some beings up to source right now that are not serving the light and they are going all of them, all of them up to the source purity <clears throat> rays coming in let's understand the heart um why this was put in by these beings um diminishing spirits so you see is to heal that within themselves let's heal them never so all right, we'll just send in. I'll call the Divine Mother here just to assist to heal the hearts of all who put these in place, to forgive them, to release them across all time and space, to forgive them, to release them, to heal their hearts. All right, I'm just going to tune in from here. Dave, I've been told if we use our prana energy, our life force, which is mingled with our crystalline energy, we can actually shield people from the implants by sending the energy into the light grid create a um a grid of shielding now that the grids are merged hmm. okay well what we can do is we can create life force all right so this will stop the implants getting through that people go through should do at the collective level so that the collective consciousness so we'll just add on like a shielding onto the grid here for the collective um, fields we just basically we're upgrading people's shields um for those who cannot who are not aware of how to do this. I feel a lot of anger around, <laughs> do they? Uh, don't this, think that they're oops. very happy with us. Of course not. We're changing the matrix. It's okay though. It's all destined. It's a big upgrade coming in right now on the fields. It's massive. Uh, we have all levels of source, light beings, galactics, and us and everybody who's watching, participating in this universal upgrade right now, specifically for Earth though, and all dimensions and realities of it. I see it now. These machine type things, they're being destroyed. They're being destroyed. They're being destroyed. They're being removed. They are being dissolved by light, um, rendering them inactive across the planet. It is all being done, um, including this upgrade at the same time. So this is going to be like a big difference in just the sovereignty of the, of the people's energy across the planet. So much rainbow light and golden light, um, blue. We have so many people helping us here. And this is all these, this everything, all, everything, all that is, is helping this right now. Every light being that you can think of sending energy through here, updating the galactic core on the grids and the systems on earth. Um, the universal realms are assisting uh, universal higher self level. And that grids as well. This is a big this is a big update coming through man like the energy that's coming through this crystal i got in my hand right now and i can see all the light streams and that's coming in with our connected fields and everybody who's watching it's just it's it's an, it's continuous and it's a lot of high high energies high advanced programs um consciousness um uh, it's it's a removing they were removing an old grid and they were replacing it with a sovereignty grid um it is what are they removing it is an old system of control um it is it is man it is not made by source it was made by by beings and they made a grid and it's being removed and it is there's a new energy coming through that is the source to replace this interesting wow this is going to make such a big difference See, it's going through all dimensions to do this. This is not, we're not just doing this for Earth. This is all like dimensions, all realities. Because you, you got, if you think of it in terms of timelines, and there's like millions of timelines happening at the same time, it's, it's upgrading it for all timelines. So I can actually see this light going through all the way through the grids, all the way through Earth into all dimensions of Earth. Um, yeah, it's, it's like a wave, energy wave. Was that old grid done by the dark one? Yes. It was. Yeah, establishing new light centers all across the planet right now. This will lift the, the consciousness level of everybody on Earth um, as well. Essentially what we we're really doing, we were lifting up their frequency so that it would, these energies can come down and dissolve all of this. And then it turned out to be a whole grid upgrade 
on a, an old grid removal, um, crystalline energies, but there is also higher source energies. Uh, we have universal support from multi-universe level, uh, as well as the light being collective, which are beings of light um, and their higher selves. Um, it's just really interesting to see how much is happening here in this one thing. Okay, it's a massive clearing happening at the same time. Um, as the grid's getting removed, there's 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 entities that were reliant on this grid. Beings, um, they're just being flushed out, basically um, cleaned out back to source. Um, or the, that's pretty much it. Yeah, they're not, they're just being removed, essentially. All is upgraded. Okay, the Divine Mother is blessing this. She's blessing this. So there's going to be a lot of relief in people's fields um, from this. There's, people are going to feel just relieved, um, like like a sort of like a freedom, um, the energies of sovereignty, the energies of higher energy, the energies of consciousness it will be felt. It will be felt like a freedom, um, even at a collective level, even people who aren't even watching this um, are just all of a sudden going to notice like there's breathing room or like something that has been lifted like a weight from the collective so that is what people will notice in the days ahead who didn't even watch this well, i've been told dave some of the actual where the implants are being made some of the buildings like there have really been uh, messed up the um the light beings yeah, the... who are, are assisting with this right now they're just connecting heart fields at the moment just to really bring in a healing a healing of sorts um, a healing of consciousness oh because there is betrayals related to this where we are healing their wounds related to these insertions these chips these burdens of energies need to be healed and, and um, also the fear that they were sending to them you're sending fear and they weren't just taking the soul energy you were sending them fear that's what's being removed so not only were they taking the energy people they were actually controlling them with fear they, they were creating the fear mm, this is going to make such a difference mm. <clears throat> oh we got to go into the kosh now to release this as from a wound level so it's going to go to the universal crystalline kosh and uh, ask divine mother and if anybody who wants us to forgive all these beings, all these beings, just forgive them to help heal their hearts, forgive them, release them from putting all these controls in, on the, the planet. Just forgive them, release them, heal their hearts, go through the crystalline and cash of all, just to forgive and release the heal of hearts. And with the light being collective and divine mother for healing all wounds in the Akash and all timelines, space, all realities and dimensions, forgive all to release all the burdens, just to release them, to release them, to heal the burdens from the collective consciousness, to heal the burdens from the collective consciousness, clear it, clear it, clear it. The part is done. Now we can just enjoy the energies, I think. Oh, there's an excitement of energy going on now. It's finally, it's like it's finally that this is finally done, finally. Um, and release a lot of burdens from, so it's a good thing. So I think that part is done. So I'm gonna put the crystal down. That part is done. It's going to with the angels at this point here, having the energies. They're, they're just very pleased. They're very pleased. Um, they're just very happy that like we're declaring this essentially uh, as behalf of earth amb ambassadors of light, that we're declaring this sovereignty and this peace in the united grids the united grids the unity grids um all are here to witness all are here to witness this bless uh, all levels of light and it will be and it will continue to be on uh, the new grids At, there's lots of grids mind you this is just a new level of grid creation of the unity grids and field mergers occurred um, lower frequencies going higher um, revelations, thoughts of higher consciousness are coming in. Uh, profound awareness for all on earth. Mm, interesting. They'll begin to see, they'll begin to feel during this awakening now, um, how much closer they are now to the higher energies. Um, this, so there's a lot that just happened. There was a field merging or frequency lift across the planet. Um, an old density grid removed, a new unity 
uh, well, a newer frequency to the unity grids established, um, witnessed by all, um, the, the dragon collective, the solar Rishi, who the original ones, um, and um, the angels, the light being collective, the universal collectives, um, the higher self levels, and it's like a lift of energy. And everyone's gonna feel this. Everyone's gonna feel this weight is removed, this burden. Um, it's almost like what you would think of as energetic enslavement um, being neutralized um, across the grids of Gaia. It's probably the best way to describe it. Okay. Yeah, this was really important to do this before the shift um, it had to be done. This, this had to have been done before everything can shift um, and um, that there's like this peace this peace in the collective consciousness um, not chaos so it's like um, there's like the roots of manipulation being removed so people can just be more happy essentially they just be more happy and being in their energy not being manipulated okay. sure. I think it is done I think it's done hmm. I'd like to nice. thank everyone who took that yeah, I will think our crystalline selves, universal selves, the light beings, the Elohim, Solar Rishi, the Dragon Collective, the Gatekeepers, all who watched, all all who assisted. Just be grateful for this day of freedom. For this day of freedom. Just another just another light mission. Nothing serious. David, I was told while doing it, if you play hundred thousand Earths, put a crystal on top of the sound. Stops our IT getting attacked. So, because they were trying to attack our free our IT. Ah, yeah. So, right. Yeah, that makes sense. The the pyramid amplifies it into the uh, into the event. Yeah, it was probably a good thing. I got this um, crazy organite one right from uh, Denise Lee. She makes these ones. Look at that beast, wow. eh? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's massive. Yeah. Um, so I think we had some extra, and it just came in the other day. A little extra frequency boosting and it, it lights up i just got to put batteries in it apparently it lights up so i picked up some batteries get that going soon um beautiful that was a good mission a lot of a lot of help with that one that was pretty cool how you doing ronnie i'm doing good david nice. can you hear me Thanks. yeah yeah appreciate the help appreciate jumping on with the help uh, appreciate the offer i just i got the uh, message a little late but Oh yeah, well you were. It's been pretty crazy. Like uh, before we went live, like I we was just talking in the last 24 hours, um, so many missions have been going on. Just so many. Uh, I don't know if you've been feeling this, like, like you all of a sudden just go into like a trance, or all of a sudden like you just start going into like these thoughts of 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 light work or something like that. Like, like, oh, like wow. yesterday, right? And um, so, it, like, we're we're we are in the dream reality right now, but at the same time, the old one is still like dissolving, and there's still these final little things to do before the great event happens or the God moment, or whatever you want to call it. And um, but the last 24 hour has been heated up mission work. Like, um, I'm sure everybody's waking up after going to sleep last night feeling maybe even exhausted or like what did i do and just like yeah. like it the heat has been on like we are seriously working around the clock now like big you, time you, you can actually hear the frequency more now. well yeah. what, what i get is my physical body may be unaware or i may be unaware but then i hear higher aspects of me are working with other people in other groups all the time oh for sure oh yeah You'll be, you'll you'll be even even your aspect now like you'll be jumping all all over the place at sleep especially like I've um I've I've I'm I'm used to like you know every once in a while if energies are big I'll have a nap yesterday they put me into four or five 50 minute sleeps and in each one of them I'm doing some kind of crazy mission it's just such a critical time right now it's such like a pinnacle time in the shift that like the that that everybody's coming together we're all coming together and we're just like we're we're taking this we're owning it it's happening we ain't going back and uh like we're, we're tidying up 
or tidying up like this. This is like tidy up work, you know, like, you know, a little bit of clean up on aisle five. <laughs> All right. I, I actually got up out of bed in the afternoon. So I've been uh, doing a lot. I must have been doing the work. Early. I know we have sure. four hours sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is it, man. This is the time. Um, some some big things coming ahead. A lot of people don't believe in the shift because they've heard about it since 2012 and they, they get let down and, and everything. But I mean, it's just... I get a lot of that too. They've been talking about this forever. It was even before 2012. Yeah. Uh, in, back in the 80s and 90s, they were doing this. Yeah, it's just, yeah. you just got to understand it in terms of like, it's, it's a collective awakening. It's like eventually it's like a scale it's like a scale collective awakening and then when enough are awakened and the scale of the unawakened to the awakened goes like this it's it creates this pinnacle moment in consciousness that creates it is an internal thing but it will be supported by external as well i mean there's we're we're above we're below we're within we're without like it, it all happens yeah well um, i heard you talk about yesterday that uh, it had to be ten percent, and I'm thinking only ten percent. That's that felt kind of low to me, but you know, who knows? Well, things have been happening how I've how I've thought it was going to happen. In that, like, so there was a point when we were all holding so much light, and it was just like, oh my god, we're just holding so much light. But then, as the collective awakens, the light we we're holding gets distributed. So some people think, oh, I'm not connected anymore. But it's just no. It's just as some of the light that we've been holding is now is anchored within the masses at a global level. It's not that you're not connected. You just yeah. gotta connect again. You know, like it was. We can only hold so much light for so long, and, and then eventually, it's, there's going to be that mass awakening, and then pe other people are joining the grid. So then the light gets spread out instead of us just holding all of the light, right? Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's if, been... if you also think of the shift, the shift has been happening. So it's not like we're waiting for, you know, a certain balance in the scale or imbalance. It's it's happening and people just don't notice it because you it happens in your body in a gentle manner. So it's not a it's it's not a big switch. So they're going, Oh, they've been talking about this, but it hasn't happened, but it actually has been happening but at the rate that our bodies can cope. For me, it feels like I fill up like a capacitor. Mm -hmm. And then it, it, when it dissipates, when it, it's like a, a shot just out from, out from me and it, it's kind of like a relief actually because the energy gets so high. Mm -hmm. And like what happened? But it comes back. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's like when you connect into the light, you're fully charged. Um, so it's no one's not connected it's just you know um uh, it's just different now reality is different we're in dream reality now um this global awakening is happening now the light load is distributed amongst the planet more evenly now as more people are taking on light and um like it's it's gonna get really cool really cool really fast like at this point uh, i've already i already know so many people manifesting stuff like so fast and um so it's but you know a lot of people are out there like well when are my when's my family gonna wake up or when is this gonna wake up when is this show gonna it's it's not long it's not long <laughs> don't worry big things are coming real fast real hey fast. dave i got the number four i don't know why maybe when, when, I, when i was doing that i got four when you say four in relation to um i don't know you didn't tell me why <laughs> <laughs> just give me four yeah it was in four green it was in four green hour, four, years. Four, four four grids four layers of consciousness four. it was in green by the way or, or maybe you're playing golf and you're about to hit the ball so you're telling everybody to duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I keep hearing four months what's that so june july august october august september september. july september october yeah yeah there's some big things happening um, I, I'm not the only one who has gotten this, but something towards the end of June, um, obviously the summer solstice is around the corner. Um, something, something pretty big collectively, um, could be on Gaia itself in this, in this month. 
and then um, um, August, end of July, August, I've been seeing that for quite some time now, probably for about half a year. That's something like a big blast of energy is happening. But then I also got the um, many years now, March, April, 2023 is, is a big event of some kind, but you know, I don't, it could be anything. The God moment could be August. It could be the end of July for all I know. It could. It's just a moment where everybody all of a sudden feels God and feels connected. Like our hearts as light beings, we will feel that to such a big point. And then if a big inertia of solar light comes in at the same time, just to tie it all in um, and these galactics start showing up, that's fine. You know, whatever the, whatever it is, I think it is once we hit this level and boom, it goes across. That is the, the completion, in my opinion, that is like, as done is, it's not to think of it as like, like there's a map and, and here's destination A and here's destination Z. And then once we get to this destination Z, then we got to build all this earth and do all this other stuff. It's, it's the achievement of collective consciousness. I believe it is the achievement of hitting, ascending a consciousness of ascending a consciousness globally to the point where all the hearts open it is the pinnacle win it is the winning moment it is the finish line and then everything happens after that is is, is a complete new reality for all, everybody on earth you know like it's, so yeah dave yeah. i i was told it was last november end of november was the start so it's not like a day it's a it's a we're in it we're, we're in it now it's in it now Oh yeah, we are in it for sure. We're 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 in dream reality now. Like the more yeah. that you're living in your dreams and manifesting, it's going to occur. Um, the shifts are occurring. It's all happening. It's not like it's in an, in an instant, but the, but there will be an instant moment where we hit the critical mass moment, like where the critical mass of the collective heart hits. And I think that is like a finish line of of the achievement of ascending the consciousness on the planet. I'm sure of it but but it's still gonna cause like there's still gonna be lots of people who are gonna need rehabilitation and energy healing and going through their trauma their wounds and all that stuff it's just that people aren't gonna look at at somebody on the street and think of them somebody who's like a, a bum let's just say it because like people look at and they make terms like that and they say oh they're a bum they're not worth anything i'm above them they should find a job and they make all these judgments just from looking at somebody and that alone hurts the collective consciousness um, but i think in this pinnacle moment when this happens people won't look at people with that kind of judgment anymore they'll be, they'll actually be like realizing that they're just as much as the light as i am and when that when that kind of feeling happens that's when everybody will change the whole structure of systems and support and what matters on the planet instead of having this greed system you know in this fake monetary um, printed money system where there's like one 26 people who have 50 percent of the wealth of the world i mean it's just, it's just so silly yeah, i think it's more than that <laughs> yeah 99.9 percent of the world yeah uh, yeah what i wanted to say is last november that we had earthquakes in peru and uh, uh peru and iran are uh, interlinked i don't know if anyone knows that you can always google it and that's when the it, the start of our divines coming, if you know what I mean, was when them earthquakes erupted in Peru on the 27th of November. And now we're here. So we can only have a frequency. Yeah. There. yeah. That's what I got. Like, I've I've been seeing this in, in April 2023 for many years now. Like, this big earthquake that happens. But I don't want to scare anybody. <laughs> it's just... It's, but, but these forces that come from the earth when these earthquakes happen, these energies that come up um are are very positive, very it's, positive. It's, it's not california but it sorry, might, sorry it might it might be it might be there's lots of changes that are going to happen on gaia but it's um yeah, it's, lot, it's, uh, as you say dave a lot of people don't realize the release of the energy of the earthquake is ma ma massive really yeah yeah and then healing the collective and the consciousness you know like so this was a big cleanup job in my opinion like we're cleaning up the energies we're healing the energies of the earth healing the energies of ourselves healing the energies of the collective healing the energies of consciousness you know because we played in all this density and then we had to clean it up you know it's like 
it's like you know you know your if your kids make a big mess and they got to clean it up eventually and we certainly <laughs> have made a big mess in this army <laughs> yeah we certainly have yeah yeah i have noticed that we a lot of people are getting implants recently and that's because they, they need the energy they're trying to take our energy so they, this will be big yeah yeah, there's so many evolutions of it, eh? So it's upgrading the grids, upgrading this, remo- upgrading um, <clears throat> even the 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 dark program, and just putting that in control of the light. And then now this was the uh, upgrading it, so we're removing attachments, removing the artificial intelligence systems that we're not serving, and all that. There's just so many different, and then it's just as there's so many layers of healing our consciousness within ourselves, and then we're going through all these layers and embodying all these different aspects of ourselves um, universally and and in layers of consciousness. And so this, we're also doing the the other side of it because um, a lot of people, and they're right when they say, well, you should just worry about yourself. Definitely, and we have. We have done the work on ourselves and we have worried about ourselves and we have put ourselves first. But there's also the 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 planet and the and the energetic systems of the planet that needed to evolve, needed to get healed, needed to regain control from the light perspective that had to happen as well. And it's just there's there's a lot that goes into this whole planetary ascension thing. It's not just this uh, couple missions, right? But good work as always. Good work as always. Thank any final you. any final words, Mister Phil? Number four. Me. Uh, I've had to give me breakfast to me dog. Yeah. <laughs> Which was really your, me dinner, but I, I got up late. But I, I found the energy, I could see the wave getting through everywhere. I think it was quite fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was cool to see for sure. And awesome. now and now I'm healing event, I don't have to shift the implants so for a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your healing events but, now what, what, be a what, lot easier. Yeah, what I saw, I saw the vision of some of the plasma buildings from the bases underneath all these Orion buildings disintegrating there, you know, because we sent white light through them. And white light is like the opposite of their energies. There was a whole network of it. I was seeing like um, these these um, ener- energetic, um, if you want to call them robotic, artificial intelligence manipulator technologies all being disintegrated everywhere it was everywhere there was like there were so many of them it almost reminds me of you remember like in the matrix those machines with the I tentacles saw that. i saw that yeah you that saw that i saw that yeah i was thinking this is like the matrix of film yeah <laughs> but they put in some of the implants they're the they're, right they're there yeah those, those things yeah. that's what i'm talking about yeah yeah, yeah that's quite yeah amazing. it was you saw the same yeah uh and there was literally like uh i don't even it was it was there was at least you know a hundred thousand of these things that were all around the planet that were all within the grids i just saw them starting to dissolve and get taken away and removed i'm just like holy crap there's a lot of them there's a lot so layers mm-hmm. well, a lot of crystal beings just beaming from the the crystal in the foreheads straight into the grids and clearing everything is amazing. Yeah, just talking? something like that. I was saying like Leslie, when you said the dragons with part crystal, part physical. I've seen I've, on one of our events. I've seen beings that are part like like crystalline, but also physical, and that was quite yeah. amazing for you to see. Yeah, yeah. So it was uh, the first. So I've seen the the dragons with the fur. And dragons with feathers hmm. and just like angels with crystal wings instead of feathers but it's the first i've seen dragons with um covered in crystals it was yeah it was amazing that's cool